So why is the hypothalamus said to be the thermostat of the body and what is the best way to regulate your body temperature? Let's talk about it. Your hypothalamus is the central integration center for temperature regulation. Your hypothalamus receives nerve impulses from structures in your skin called thermoreceptors that gives information about the surface temperature of your body. Thermoreceptors in the skin are picked up by nerve cell and pass through the spinal cord by thermal sensors, which are connected to the posterior hypothalamus. If temperatures are lower than normal body temperature, a thermogenic response initiated by the posterior hypothalamus leads to an elevation in body heat and conservation of heat. Your hypothalamus also receives information about temperature through the bloodstream. The anterior hypothalamus, particularly the preoptic area, contains temperature-sensitive neurons that respond to internal blood temperature changes. If the blood is too hot, your anterior hypothalamus initiates a thermolytic response, which helps to decrease body temperature. Thermolytic responses are characterized by vasodilation and the skin, which causes heat to be lost through the skin, by radiation and perspiration, sweating. Thermogenic responses creates cutaneous vasoconstriction, meaning blood vessels in your skin start to get smaller when minimizing the loss of heat due to radiation. Thermolytic responses also cause a shivering effect. This increased muscular activity can increase your body temperature. The hypothalamus is well equipped to gauge the fluctuations in temperature in your blood and your peripheral body. So how do you regulate your temperature? Well, number one is thermotherapy. If you're overheated, applying cold water or ice to strategic points in the body where veins are closer to the surface, like your wrists and your neck, your chest, and your temples, can quickly lower your body temperature. If you're very cold, putting hot packs on your neck and chest can make a big difference in increasing body temperature. Hydro immersion also works. Hot baths when you're cold and cold baths when you're hot can make a big difference in regulating your body temperature. Now, exercise will also increase your body temperature, so movement is good as for your cold, but pay attention to your clothing as well. Breathable, loose cotton and silk is cooling, while wool and nylon can help retain heat. The most important thing to try to keep your body temperature regulated is supporting your hypothalamus. For the first four decades of my life, I had a very hard time maintaining a normal core body temperature. I had hypothalamic amenorrhea due to eating disorders and obsessive exercise, and my body fat was incredibly low at 12%, so I could not maintain my body temperature, especially if I got exposed to cold. And in my 30s, I was a triathlete, so swimming in the Pacific Ocean, even with a wetsuit, would cause hypothermia. Only hydroimmersion therapy would help. Once I started supporting my hypothalamus, first with sacred seven amino acids and then with Genesis Gold, I noticed within a couple of months I was able to regulate my body temperature without resorting to hydrotherapy. Since supporting my hypothalamus with Genesis Gold, my body temperature is slightly above normal. Some factors that can raise your body temperature include fevers and exercise, even digestion. If you eat late at night and then you go to bed, you're going to have a hard time staying asleep because your body temperature naturally elevates during digestion, which will prevent adequate melatonin production. And there are also factors that can lower your internal temperature, including drug use, alcohol use, and some metabolic conditions, especially low thyroid levels. Since your hypothalamus is controlling thermal regulation, it's very important to support your hypothalamus to keep your body temperature regulated optimally. If you have any questions about your hypothalamus and temperature regulation, why don't you join me in our hormone support group? You'll get access to our free hormone reboot training. I'll see you in the next video.